After exploring two beautiful and exciting locations, our explorers travelled around 10.1 kilometers to reach the mother of all beaches, the Anjuna Beach. We are here at Anjuna Beach. I've come to this place uh, earlier before, but this time it's totally a different way. On one of the most popular beaches of Goa, our explorers were given the task to perform various energizing yoga asans as they immerse themselves in the enriching vibes of Mother Nature. I haven't done yoga in so many years and getting back to yoga, it just feels so great that I don't feel like going from this place. It was great to kind of halt and you know, do some yoga. It was like really the, the perfect package of what Goa is all about, you know, fun, two-wheelers, spirituality, yoga, I mean, <laughs> the whole thing was like packed in. The yoga on the beach was something that I never thought I imagined I would do. I have never done yoga by the ocean before, so that was another first for me. After doing it, it was like amazing and I felt really good and it, it will stay with me for a long time. Different yoga asans gave them a glimpse of their spiritual side on the serene beauty of Anjuna Beach. Through the task, the explorers soaked in the sunset by imbibing the peace that the beach brought in along with its sounds and sights. I think the best thing about uh, this whole event is that you know Goa is best explored on two wheeler and this is a great excuse to kind of really uh, you know enjoy the bike and the best part is that it's unisex, anyone can ride it. The explorers were all ready to ride away in Honda Navi to know more about the remaining jewels that Goa had to offer. While the Honda Navi continues to dazzle the crowd with its offbeat and funky style. 